Look at me. What you perceive creates an illusion of who I am. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. These arms hold the weight of my ambition. These hands craft efficiency. I build machines that gather light and give energy to my needs. Solar panels that power to make our future green. You don't know me. You just see me. My fingers are on the pulse of man's quest. I build robotics to inform what's next. And these innovations lie our success. You don't know me. I will belong to no limits. I code, I build, I create, I make. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. But you will. Not only is she lovely, that is also her last name. Breaking into is next. You are tuned in to Black Hollywood Live. Breaking into. Hello and welcome to another edition of Breaking Into on Black Hollywood Live. I am your host, James Law Jr. You know where you can find me, where all James Law Juniors are sold. Yes, that's right, kids. My guest today is someone who is so wonderful. You guys know her already. Uh, a lot of the Tyler Perry universe. We're going to talk about how she got involved with him and how she's in all of his stuff. Well, okay, not all of his stuff, but you're in a lot of it. <laughs> she's also, she's starring in the new Boo, a Medea Halloween. It looks hilarious. And the trailer looks hilarious. And you know she plays Hattie Mae. So Hattie Mae makes the universe on the Tyler Perry stuff. She's on Tyler Perry's Love Thy Neighbor on the OWN Network. I mean, you're surrounded by people that are like, you know, amazing. Mm -hmm. You are, you are, I mean, talk about blessed, like blessed 20 times. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's also been in things uh, for him, like Medea on stage for Medea's Christmas. She's done Medea to Get a Job. I don't want to do no wrong. Hell hath no fear like a woman scorned, the haves and have nots. She is working. She, and she is working it today too. Miss Patrice Lovely. Um. Hum, hum. I love that. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, everybody! Hey. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm in here. And I'm with you this evening. It's so crazy seeing this beautiful woman. <laughs> and that boy. And that boy. <laughs> right? It's like, it's like there's some disconnect going on for me right now. I'm like, like wait a minute. This is like kind of weird. Hattie Mae's been good to you, hasn't she? Absolutely. She's been around maybe 20 years now. Wow. Mm -hmm. And been working 20 years. Yeah, no, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like I, named stuff. I was naming mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, Hattie Mae's been around for a while. And is she like your best friend at this point? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Hattie is... Um, my mother, she's my aunt, she's my cousin, she's my nephew, she's my niece, she's my grandfather, she's my grandmother, she is my sister, she is my brother, she's water. <laughs> I love it. Patty Mae is everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's great. She's been good mm -hmm. to you guys. Okay, so we're gonna show, we're gonna, we're gonna talk more about exactly just how you know she got involved with Tyler Perry and all stuff. We're gonna show first. It's a short trailer. It's like a teaser trailer for a boo. It okay. just makes me laugh. We're gonna show it right there. Okay. This Halloween stuff just give me the creep. She okay. don't like Halloween. On October twenty first. You shouldn't be here. After ten, strange things are happening in this house. What the hell with that? If you're not afraid of the dark. Monday! You should be. Oh, hell no! Why are you up here in this bed? I was reading. Reading what? what? The Bible. Where is the Bible? It's on the table of my heart. Starts October 21st. So, I mean, okay, this is, gonna be, this is always going to be a hit movie, obviously, which she does. How did Tyler Perry and you get connected in the first place? Um, actually, Tyler heard I was uh, I've been doing uh, theater for years, yeah. uh, as I said, since uh, '96, wow. and um, he actually called us a, a couple times uh, to see if I could do his shows, and I was already under contract. Okay. So um, it just so happened he came at the right time. Yeah. I was in Detroit. And I was doing um, marriage material, um, Jacarius Johnson's uh, play. Okay. And he flew in, and uh, the rest is history. I was in his office the next day because that tour wow. was ending that Sunday night. Monday morning, I was on his couch. Oh, he snatched you up then. Like, oh, he, absolutely. He, he, was like, he took me out 
of the lion's den. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jeez, uh-huh. That's, that's great. I mean, and this is I, obviously you've watched him from like almost basically the beginnings of him at this point. Well, um, I mean, it's been 20, you said 20 years or something again. N- not, I, I haven't worked with Tyler for 20 yeah. years. Um, I've been in the, in the business yeah, 20 years. Uh, 20 years. I've been working for Tyler now, I think like seven, that's maybe good. seven, okay. eight years, that's I good. think. That's good. I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And my first one was uh, My Dear's Christmas. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, he, um, he was like, I have an idea. And... And that was it. He <laughs> sent the script, and um, uh, again, it, the rest was history. So, is stage your first love? I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Because you've absolutely. done, you've been doing stage for so long. I is love it? Yeah. theater. I love yeah. that live audience. I love yeah. the audience reaction. You yeah. know, yeah, nothing like it. How do you keep it fresh every night? We do a, a, a do a show over and over. Never do the, do it the same way. Mm-hmm. Every time I do a show, uh, my dialogue change. Oh, interesting. Absolutely. But I still stay, you know, yeah. on message. But uh, it, it would get pretty boring to me if I had to do the same. Di- yeah. and, and, the, and the best part about Tyler is, for me, he just allows me to play. And I constantly create. I, kind of, I might go in and do um, a scene one way the night before. Yeah. And the next night, I might be turning flips. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will turn a flip off the couch, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all on the back. I'm on the neck. I mean, um, I felt so sorry for uh, Maurice Lochner when we was doing uh, the have and have nots. Yeah. No, no, no. We was doing Majid gets a job. Yeah. And Hattie <laughs> May just freaked because uh, she thought that one of her, um, the other uh, patients in the nursing home was after her man. And that was a train wreck between those Fruit Loops and her uh, thinking yes. that uh, she was after uh, uh, Hattie's yeah, man. Yeah. Mm-mm. No good. Not a good concoction. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm t- I literally snapped. I was on his wow, neck. So Woo! Amazing. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was going down. <laughs> <laughs> and every night we came up, Tyler, uh, Tyler said, something is seriously wrong with you. I said, no, <laughs> something is seriously wrong with you for writing this okay. shit. Okay, mm-hmm. yes, well, you can say it if you want to. Mm-hmm. Shit, mm-hmm. whatever, yes, you can say it. <laughs> I know you're a lady, but you, you can say it if you oh, want to. I, I, I get down, I get <laughs> down like sailors, son. You don't want me to start. And if you start, then I'll start, and it'll be well, all then, over. Then, then, then it'll be just have, yeah. be, uh, Black Hollywood Live after dark. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We don't want to do that, folks. I actually want to talk to her and actually be, be seen. Uh, okay, so I mean, so stage. I mean, when was the first time you did stage? What was the first, like, very, 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 very first thing you did on stage? The remember? very first thing was um, David Payton. Uh, what was it? Goodness. Oh, I can't even think of the name. Well, song from David Payton you did on stage. Was it in Detroit? Was it? Um, no, it was just a. Um, a tour. A tour. So okay. we was um, we was everywhere. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. What is one of the things about being on tour? What is one thing that you don't like? Well, at that particular time, um, you know, everybody was kind of uh, just feeling their way, and so um, at that particular time, David Payton had a broke down bus, <laughs> and it had holes in the floor, so we saw the pavement. That's weird. We were seeing the lines. Okay. <laughs> and that was my first night riding and my last night riding because after then I started dealing with promoters. Yeah. Never dealt with the, the writers <laughs> after that. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, and, and that's what I say to a lot of people. I've paid my way. I, I mean, I've paid my dues. Yeah. So, it, it, this just didn't happen overnight. No, we know you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and yeah. you actually paid attention to things and things that didn't work for you or serve you. You made sure you changed it then. Didn't Absolutely. You? So, um, I, I think I started out. Um, playing a 16-year-old character. I do remember her name was Keisha. Okay. And my dad was a white guy. He was a judge. Oh, okay. If I keep talking, I'm going to remember the name Are of the play. T- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the show's over. Gee, I remember what it is now. Right, right, right. right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, um, That's cool. Yeah. And I, again, I started out um, you know, I was um, just in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. I just finished uh, my second album okay. uh, entitled Glory Road, I yeah. believe. And uh, they had no idea I could act. So I went out to sing. And okay. then, you know, the acting kind of outweighed yeah. the singing. And yeah. then from there, we had to uh, recreate a whole show overnight because um, the play had been out. 
and we didn't know that. Oh. You know, they had taken the play out, and that particular city, Detroit. Okay. Um, we were going to, and the people we put went up the first night. You know, the show as is. Yeah. And they was like, no, we've seen this show. So people start wanting their money back. And oh, we like, oh why are these people tripping? <laughs> and then they told us, well, this show has been out. Like, oh. that's how you're going to do us. <laughs> and so they was like, so y'all got to come up with something overnight or, or, or else, you know, we're going to have to cancel the tour. And that's how Hattie, Hattie came into play. I mean, it's over, it's overnight, so you guys went back to where a hotel motel where we went to in and said, the okay. lobby, and we stayed up all night and wrecked oh my that play. And a matter of fact, uh, Tyler was doing a play in the city, and then a show that David, what's the singer, David, um, David, uh, snap, I can't think of his name. R&B singer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. David, David, I think. Anyway, yeah. um, they were doing a show, yeah. and um, we wrecked again. Yeah. And um, you know, we we our our box office yeah. sold out. So yeah, tell folks that it's it's not easy to do to do stage. Like it's it's fun, obviously, mm -hmm. and you do, but it's 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 a lot of hard blood, sweat, and tears, hard work mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. To get up there, and, and especially with Tyler, yeah, you know, because he's a perfectionist, yes. and um, everything has to be on point. It all has to make sense. Everything has to tie in. So, um, yeah, he he he's uh, he's pretty, uh, yeah. But what is one thing about him we were surprised and hear about him that that you that you've experienced with him? Well, let me say this: a, a, a lot of a people were saying to me before I met Tyler, "Oh, you would never be able to uh, work with Tyler," and um, you know he's not gonna he's not gonna allow your character to shine and oh, wow. I, I, yeah and so so when I met him I'm, I'm I'm talking right after the show ended in Detroit Tyler came backstage and it was as if we've known each other for 20 oh. years he hugged me and I hugged him and yeah. it's like we just never let go so again you know what I mean you can't pay attention to what people say because whatever your destiny is and whatever God has for you is for you and can't no devil in hell no can't yeah. nobody you know turn uh, what what God's plan is yeah. for you yeah and also I've learned to me in this business you know everybody people people talk in here because they can Everybody's experience, you know, they can. I right. got a mouth, so right. they all talk. But everybody has their own experience, mm -hmm. and everybody comes to meeting somebody with their own experience and baggage or mm -hmm. whatever they have with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So you never know what happens. Yeah, right? it was totally opposite of what everybody was saying. Mm -hmm. You know, this man has done nothing but good for, uh, you know, to me yeah. and for me. Yeah. So you know, even even when we're off, yeah, and just just being a friend, oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I can call Tyler. I can call Tyler at three, four, five o'clock. In the, yeah. in the morning and he opens his phone up and, and he'll call me back pick yeah. up the landline yeah. and yeah. you know sometimes um i'm boohooing yeah. you know what i mean yeah. yeah i mean everybody has their moments mm -hmm. but and he's been right there from day one on and offset and let's tell people how hard that is to find too in this business sometimes people actually will return your phone call or call you back or have you'll know, sit down and be with you when it's not related to like mm -hmm. a project, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but Tyler again, he's um, uh, he's actually when it comes to you know you know how family is, yes, you know, and um, they think they're entitled, and he's uh, had a lot of things to encourage yeah. me and you know to put me on the right track yeah. as far as that's that's concerned. You know, just not, just not not even not just family. You know, not allowing anybody to to you know get in your space and jack up your space. Yeah. Your mental. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. again, he's he's just phenomenal. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna mention your know, Love Thy Neighbor, which of course is on the OWN Network. Hattie me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you know what OWN is, mm -hmm. Google it. Right. Yeah, that's the Oprah Winfrey Network, of course. And if you don't know what that, <laughs> nobody knows what that is. Like, come on, people. I'm sure you guys are awake. Um, uh, I mean, so, I mean, you're on now. So, have you met Oprah? Lisa? Absolutely. I've met Oprah several times. What does she smell like? Oh, she smells fabulous because she knows good. she's got that paper. Yeah, I know. She, she can does. buy that good perfume, <laughs> that bad perfume she has on. <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to give me some of that perfume. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. she smells good. Mm -hmm. like, she smells like money, doesn't she? She, she does. Well, I'm sure mm -hmm. she's like good money. Mm -hmm. Not all money is good money, but mm -hmm. she's like good money, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. She got that old good paper. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, but I was going to say that the, now this show, like many of Tyler Perry's shows, and even like some of his movies, they feel like stages, stage mm -hmm. 
It right. feels very stage E or stage esque, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um, but they're actually filmed mm-hmm. in, a, in a four TV format. Mm-hmm. We're gonna show a piece of Love Thy Neighbor. Okay. You 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 got to get the hell out of my house. <laughs> now you know if you go over there talking crazy to him and everything, he ain't gonna want to change nothing. What do you mean, Mama? Cause I'm not seducing him. Well, try this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, they sitting at me now, babe. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm listening. Make him think it's his idea. How? <laughs> By dropping little hints and everything. <laughs> you go shopping, <laughs> and you see a sofa or something you like. You say, baby, do you like this one? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, the, the sofa part was the, that's a good idea, but the rest of that, <laughs> Too much. Well, you see, you can't be too hard. You gotta be gentle, and some men you just have to ease them into it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll try that. That's good advice, Mama. Yeah, and if that don't work. <laughs> oh, oh, the sexy walk. Did you bring out the pool? Oh. <laughs> And you just work it, trip, 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 Look at her face is so funny. So I just want to show that, that. listen, you have to watch the rest of the show. The shows are hilarious, of course. The look at her, I mean, working opposite her, of course, it must be amazing, because her face is like, oh, what is she doing? Um, yeah, her facial reactions. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, you work with some people, and they make you work. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's one of them. Palmer's one of okay. them, because Palmer is just retard to the 10th <laughs> yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I mean like I said, I you, I see you as that. I know you as her. Mm-hmm. And then I'm seeing these beautiful pictures and seeing you right in front of me, like you, like this, I'm like, is it, is it fun to be completely underneath all of that stuff and you can just be whatever you want, so to speak? Yes, absolutely. Uh, no vanity whatsoever, none of that kind of... Yeah, but that that takes a while. That takes maybe take... an hour and a half, two hours oh, wow. to get into character okay. when it's done right yeah, yeah. and it's ready for film. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Um, I, I've had to recently kind of get out of um, hiding behind yeah. Hattie because, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just... I'm more comfortable, yeah. you know, where people don't, you know, can't see me. Yeah. That's just more yeah. comfortable to yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But I mean, I can yeah. see you in all kinds of different roles, obviously, as just, you know, variations of how you look. Yeah. I'm sure. But that makes you a good character actress, though. You can probably do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm making, I'm getting more work for her. Right, 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 right. hire for all kinds of stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you can do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm always promoting. That's why I'm promoting. I'm always, I'm a, I just can't promote And that's something I'm trying, I, I'm, I'm breaking into now. Yeah. You know, just doing more roles as Patrice or, yeah. or you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you are Patrice still, which is that it's just, it's underneath all this stuff which like I said it's like it's hiding the beautiful here it's like oh my god she's well, like she's thank pretty you. thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> but it's much I mean is it hard to film these where are people just laughing all the time yep and the camera is shaking and the tile is <laughs> constantly constantly hey I can't use that okay cut yeah yeah cause people are the film is uh, the cameras are, yeah. are shaking yeah yeah I'm sure and I was, they're always breaking wonder. out laughing yeah. so you hear yeah so I always wonder yeah. that mm-hmm. when you see when especially, you're watching yeah. Kelly, mm-hmm. especially right? with that character, yeah, you know, yeah. What I mean? oh yeah. So yeah. now is it now uh, the thing? One of the things I always um, admire about Tyler Perry is that he hires people of color behind the camera, in front of the camera. He'll find folks who have worked in a long time, bring them into his movies, bring them to his TV shows. Mm-hmm. That must be amazing to work with so much brown talent for you. Mm-hmm. It must be so amazing. But you know what? Even with that, he has to be careful because everybody um, doesn't really have, uh, everybody doesn't have Tyler's back. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like you can bring a stranger into your house. Yeah. And if you don't know them, oh, yeah. they're going to take your things. Yeah. They're going to they gonna take your goods. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you have to be, you have to be careful, yeah. you know what I mean? Who who, yeah. who you let in, in your yeah. surroundings. But and, and Tyler is just that type of uh, person. Regardless as to how many times people is taken from him, yeah. he still bring still bring us in, still yeah. give us jobs, yeah. you know? It, again, he's just a good man, yeah. a good soul. Yeah, you know? he seems like he seems like a person because he's self made. And he gives yeah. he, he gives it all back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like and and, the, and that's how you keep getting, you know, is when you yeah. give. 
Yeah, give and like it shall me. be given back to I you, totally you know, agree. and that's way to me. That's the way I've always lived, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, it's that's how you get back. your blessing. Yeah, that's how you get your blessing. Mm -hmm. So and even if you give and you don't receive or you don't get anything in return, hey, right. it's still, you know, right. it's still it still counts. For the good. Yeah. yeah, it still counts. Yeah, like right. well, it still yeah. counts. Mm -hmm. um, now, let's, let's go. Let's go in because this is Black Hollywood Live. Yeah. We're black folks. Uh -huh. Let's talk about this because uh -huh. you kind of. I, I want to know what your take on this is because what do you say to the criticism about his type of comedy that you hear sometimes today from some people? Honestly, I don't even put myself in that. Um, I, I'm not even surrounded by that. So Good. a lot of times I don't even hear it. Good. You Good. know, um, and, and and to whatever. I have no idea what are you what you're talking about at well, this some point. People, some people say you know things like it's, it's kind of like the you know the old time kind of minstrel circuit kind of stuff. But or, that's what we need. To me, it, all of this us, um, reality TV. Tell hey, us. take a no. Let's go back. To uh, Mama's family, to, yes, to yes. the Jeffersons, yes. to yes. Good Times. Yes. Take me back to real TV. I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. And so all of that, I mean, you know, not not taking away from people's pockets, <laughs> but yeah, right. because everybody's got to make a living. Yeah. But you know, these overnight stars. Yeah. To me, that don't last because yeah. at the end of the day, you still gonna have to have a talent. You gonna still, you still gonna have to be able to show, you know, what you can do. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna last for you. That's very true. Get your tray. Yeah. <laughs> Go to work. <laughs> Pay your dues. No, seriously, yeah. Yeah. Pay your dues. And that's mm -hmm. the one thing about today is like stars like, okay, take your time, mm -hmm. hone the craft, mm -hmm. be nice to people, mm -hmm. make the connections. Mm -hmm. It'll pay off. Exactly. And I, I was I was um actually uh, talking to a friend of mine and they were saying that Patricia is so you're so down to earth, but that's just me. You know what I mean? And I've always been that way. Always yeah. been home folk. You yeah, know what I, I mean? I always been yes. good people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. My head didn't blow up when, when I blew up. Yeah. You know Cause, what cause I mean? Because I feel like you know the big picture. Exactly. You get At it. the end of the day, you still you might have to see these people. Tell them, tell Perfect them, thing, perfect, uh, I don't know if it's a, a slogan or what it's, it's called, <laughs> uh, uh, never burn the bridge because you might have to cross that bridge okay. again. You okay. know what I mean? And that's that's the way I've always lived, mm -hmm. you know? You never you never know. Uh-uh. Don't burn that bridge. That assistant that's that you were stepping on. That. Yeah, my girl told me saying mm -hmm. that, that assistant you're working for mm -hmm. could be hiring you for your next job. And that same person that you passed on your way up, you're going to have to see them on your way back that's down. That's true. That's yeah. so true. Ain't that nice? Okay. Ah, I got some good slogans. <laughs> You're, pop, you're popping the wisdom. Uh huh. That's you it. Uh -huh, but it's, uh -huh. but it's so true. And another thing that's true, that, and this was true for you, of course, in this Tyler Perry universe, that people in Hollywood like to work with people they, they know can deliver, mm -hmm. and who are also they can work with them. Mm -hmm. Got good spirits, good right. attitudes. You know, because you know? tell people it's okay. A lot of times, especially on on movie sets, it's hurry up and wait. Right. You don't want to surround Hair anybody for eighteen hours. Well, that's not like with him. Tyler. Definitely. He goes fast. Is he fast paced? Tell definitely. me, what's, what's he doing? Definitely not. Not with Tyler. Oh, so it's always every shooting. project that I've ever done with okay. Tyler Perry Productions. Okay. It's always been pop. We've always finished um, two, three, four weeks ahead. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. I guess he has so many projects going and on. And even this movie, when we got yeah. ready to do this movie, I thought we was gonna be in there. You know, like. Oh snap! We gonna be six, seven months on this joke. <laughs> Done in thirty days, probably. <laughs> Ole. Ole. How much fun was making this movie? Ah, uh, but uh, from from the beginning, from day one, <laughs> we were he, a lot of times. I mean, you can see it at the end of um, he he does the. Um, you know, those things at the end yeah. where, um, you know, it, it, we, we just constantly broke character. Yeah, we sure. constantly laughed through the whole film, yeah, you know. Sure. Um, and then watching him go into all these different characters, you know, That's Joe amazing. and amazing. Madea and yeah. Brian and yeah, yeah, yeah. That man is, when I tell you that man is crazy, <laughs> I am serious. <laughs> Tyler and the way he thinks, you yeah. know what I mean? And the fact that he's just, uh, he, he uh, what Hollywood does in a month, yeah. Tyler Perry studio to do that in like a day. Yeah. Or two days. Because I, I, I always hear things about how he writes all this stuff too. So it's like he's writing these. But movies. do you know how many shows he writes? 
That's the crazy know, part. Crazy. And then shooting them. So yeah. while we're shooting Love Thy Neighbor, he's writing um, Have and Have Not. Uh, or Meet the Browns or whatever. Uh, yeah, all these things. I mean, yeah. You know, he's, he's, he, yeah, it's crazy the way his, his work ethic. I always wonder if he has a, does he have a life? He has a life, you know, he has the baby and, yeah. you know, his, his own personal life. And yeah. believe me, you know, he, he understands, you know, you, you can't just work constantly. No, you, can't. you know, he'd be a nut up and put crazy <laughs> yeah. around there. We'd be looking at him like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what is, some, what is some great advice that was told to you that serves you well today? Ah, uh, again, what you said, just, you know, when, when, when you, especially when you're working with Tyler, um, you know, when you go in, get your script, make sure you know it inside and out, dissect it, mm-hmm. you know, know the backstory, yeah. you know, of the characters, what, you know, whatever you're doing. And again, just, you know, when you go in, just go in, you know, with all you know and allow, and, and allow the, him to pull you back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just give it all you got. And then if, you know, whatever doesn't work or if you're too big, again, that's what happened with Har- with Hattie. In the beginning, I came in in a theater. It's a different speaking, and you're talking like this. To everybody. Like you're going all and stuff. I was screaming at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> They're all shut like, up down. Hattie, right, tone down. Like, <laughs> turn down for what? But that's, you know, right, that's no, that's all natural. I've ever known is yeah. to make it big, you know, mm-hmm. make it, um, t- you know, to to where everybody can hear. Yes. And they can see, even 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 if they, they can't uh, hear it, mm-hmm. they can see. And yes. then they'll be able to put it. If yeah. you weigh in the back of the theater yeah. and you in the nosebleed section, yeah. then, you know, you still got to. You're performing to them. Exactly. Just like the people in the front row, you're performing exactly. to that guy in the mezzanine exactly. way up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. He had to tone me down a lot. <laughs> I have a feeling that wasn't super easy. <laughs> and it wasn't because, uh, but again, he took me, when I tell you this man, took me under his wing and he's still showing me, you know what yeah. I mean, you know, how to do film and yeah. even for the movie. It was a little bit, I can do a little bit more, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. because I had a bigger, you know, a bigger yeah. space. Yeah. But yeah, he's still, uh, I- I'm still learning from him every day. How's yeah. it being on a TV series? You're, you're, you are on a television series a major yes no yeah, exactly yes yeah. it's uh it, it's it's phenomenal you know what i mean god I, I god has truly blessed me you know and the bible said that your gift would make room for you so um yeah, like yeah yeah and so um again I, i'm just thankful you know because again i've paid my dues i can I, I, I before i even start doing television mm-hmm. i've always been a tithe payer so, you know, again, um, you know, me, me paying my tithes, that, that, that's made a difference, you know, yeah. giving my tithes yeah. and giving my offering and being faithful to God and, you know, he'll be faithful to you. And, yeah. you know, from, for, for Tyler, the first day we met in Detroit, when he flew to Detroit yeah. um, on stage that night, he was like, doesn't this girl deserve her own television show? And I'm like, yeah, Mr. Right, yeah, we all hear that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> and I promise you, next day I was on the couch and from there... I did my dear's Christmas. Mm-hmm. Then we went into the have and have nots. Mm-hmm. By the time we did have and have nots, after at the end of that tour, I think I was going into love thy neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That That's amazing. how God works, though. And no, no, it is. I mean, would you get out of your own way? He do things so isn't well. Isn't that funny? Like, ah, I know what's going to happen to me. Like, mm-hmm. well, I got out of my own way. So mm-hmm. now all of a sudden the lane is open mm-hmm. and he's like, okay, now I can come in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I can drive down the street and, exactly. then, and get you to where you need to go. Mm-hmm. And then it, it's so easy. It's much easier when you know the reason that you're put on, on earth. You know the reason, you know, that you're put on this planet. And the, for me, I know that, that's um, for, um, for laughter, you know, for comedy, the Bible says laughter is good like a medicine. Yeah. And so you never know what a person is going through during, during the course of their day. And when they turn that television on and they can see you or even in person, you just out. You know, again, yeah. I've never been one to be just snotty, you know, yeah. just, yeah. you know, just, you know, you, you never know. You, you can just say hi or just a yeah. smile, yeah, know. you know, and make yeah. people's day or yeah. help it anyway, you know, go a little bit I better. I always say people should be nice. Nice should be the norm. Exactly. I say it all the that time. Works, that works for me. It's like, why not? Mm-hmm. It doesn't cost you anything. Mm-hmm. It actually Absolutely. brings stuff to you. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. What is one thing seriously that's come out of doing 
doing comedy either for you as it helps you through a, a tough time or if someone come up to you and say oh my god your comedy is like you know mm -hmm. saved my day or something again i was doing um I, at that particular time i was doing the universal circus and i was playing another one of my characters which is kind of similar still you right. know just a different name yeah um um uh, and uh, at that time, I, w in the beginning of the show, I did comedy. And then at the end, um, I kind of put a theme to it. And that was, uh, we fall down, but we get up. You never judge a, a book by its cover. You never look at, you know, what a person, how a person looks and, you know, and grab your you know, yeah. So at the end, I sang, I came out of character oh. and said, God works on us piece by piece. And he takes us and he makes us into what he wants us to be. And he mows us and he shapes us. And at the end, I sang, we fall down. And at the end of that, um, at the end of that show, there's a young man came out of the audience and he said, Patrice, I've never uh, been at a, uh, to a cir at a circus, and he said, "I want you to know before I came here, I had um, contemplated suicide." And he said, "After I heard and I came here and I sing this show and heard you sing, he said um, that changed my life." And he said, "I just, you know, I had given up, yeah. and just, you know, just just that, mm -hmm. you know, that's it, rewarding in itself." Because mm -hmm. we just, we really don't know who we affect in a great way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when this industry, you'll hear how you affect people in another way. Mm -hmm. But you never know who, what it is you do. And comedy mm -hmm. is not frivolous. Mm -hmm. TV shows aren't frivolous. Mm -hmm. These movies aren't frivolous. Mm -hmm. These things, sometimes for some people, it is their life, life saving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You give them that hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. two hours, mm -hmm. half hour. Mm -hmm. It just really, it's helped me just in my own life, doing being on TV and doing stuff. It's helped me through tough times, mm -hmm. just to be able to come somewhere and... And have a good laugh or a good talk. It do, it does really help. And, and and you know what? That's what uh, mm -hmm. I remember. Um, a young lady. She's uh, her her name was Angel, but she's uh, died. She's died. And she told me, she prophesied to me years ago, and she told me that I was going to be my own saving grace. And she said, every time you get depressed and when you get down, sing to yourself. And that's even if 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 it's just not a song. It's watching something, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Melody or something, yeah. I guess, I guess that's a great thing she said to you, actually. Yeah, so, it's yeah. Kinda, yeah, it's yeah. great. Oh, hey, God. it's taking me through, and I'm, I'm, you know, again, I'm blessed, yeah. you know. God now, has been good Now, you to are me. a singer. Folks, she's a singer, too. And I know you've done this. There's videos online that show you singing these amazing songs. Mm -hmm. so. But you mentioned you had some albums back in the day. So. Mm -hmm. Back in the day. Do you want to do that again? Like Absolutely. Yeah. We're working on that now. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So maybe next year. Yeah. Or, That's a whole other industry, of course. It's like just two yeah. different things going on mm -hmm. there. It's a lot happening. Yeah, but you mm -hmm. like doing like the musical comedies too, where you get to actually sing songs and in the middle of doing mm -hmm. stuff on stage. Yeah, that's again, that's that live audience. Yeah, I love it. Would I, I mean, I would do that. Um, you know, I would prefer that. You know, yeah. <laughs> more yeah. so than the. Yeah. You know, just the studio, just yeah. being confined, and you know, yeah. going strictly by. Yeah. Um, you know, the book. Yeah. With that, I, I, I can just play, oh create, God. you know. Did you ever think when, you know, because I don't, you know, when I was a kid, there were certain things, I mean, of a certain age myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I was a kid, <laughs> there were certain things that weren't in my dream. I had dreams, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to get them, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And I was born in the civil rights movement. And so I, I my ancestors are, you know, sitting on my shoulders, mm -hmm. you know, as I get through this, do this journey. And mm -hmm. it's not, it's not like heavy or anything. It's just they're mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever think for yourself too, that you could be doing this, that you and I like be sitting on, you know, a TV show talking Absolutely. about your... Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I spoke it into existence. You did? Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember again, sitting, um, I, um, in the 222 Dunbar Drive in the projects, Troy, Alabama. <laughs> I, I remember standing in, in my bedroom looking out the window, and I remember um, saying, I'm going to be a star. I'm going to have a beautiful, beautiful career. And it just happened. Wow. And again, my mom, you know, instilled all those things in me, you know, um, speaking to the, to the air what you want. You know, and I've always done that, always spoken to existence, what it is that I want, and even they, till this day. That's so funny. And then you just went ahead and started making it happen, obviously. You started saying, I'm going to start doing what I need to do to mm -hmm. get there. Mm -hmm. And I believe everything that the sole of my feet should tread upon, that has already been given unto me. That's mine. Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. God, I can sit here and talk to you forever. <laughs> forever. Oh my God. You're so good. Is there anything is there anything you haven't done yet? I'm sure there's a lot of things you haven't done yet, but is there anything you'd like to do, you think, in your career? Yeah, I want to um, Say it out loud. Uh-huh. You know I, I, I've, I've, I've been doing that. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I want to I've always wanted to do uh dancing with the stars, but oh I God. don't want to do that version. Ooh, okay. Uh, we're gonna do a, 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 a urban version, Ooh. and it's gonna be you know us. I would love and it. you don't have to be a star, but you do have to have you know some name, some right, yeah, some following, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, oh, that mm-hmm. that'd be a great idea actually. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised, I'm surprised nobody's done that yet. It's already patented. Don't don't okay. uh-huh. don't. <laughs> so all, so while y'all me, listening, don't even try. I'm all my I'm like my producing partner. I'm like. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, back to you, Patrice. Yeah, yeah I'm like, right, okay. Right, right, right. I'll see someone too. Like, so, where did yeah. that happen? You know, your lawyers yeah. are calling you. They're like, somebody's mm-hmm. trying. This guy named James Lott Jr. <laughs> like, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've idea. always wanted to do that because yeah. I love to dance. Yeah. I'm a dancer. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, just watching them, like, oh, we need to put a look. Yeah, you know, it's you know, you're right. It's, it's one of those things that, because as Dancing with Stars has this weird thing where you have to either be a star coming down. Right. Right. Or started or going, used to was right. You know, right. Like, why, yeah, why you have to do that? You can have right. actually people who just have you know have following for career. Right. career. They have a nice career, yeah. and you have a nice following. Yeah, and you gotta be able to dance. Yeah, you know, or have some rhythm, <laughs> at least to make it past the first episode. <laughs> you know, yeah. Then now, you're gonna get the boot. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna boot you. That was that actually mm-hmm. is a great idea. I, mm-hmm. I'm thinking there's no one doing that right now at all. Exactly. There's yeah. no one at all. Yeah. Would you? I'm asking. I'm asking. Would you talk just touched on it briefly. Where would you ever do reality TV or no? Mm. I always, always say to myself no, but I don't. Who knows, right? If it's the well, right thing, I maybe. I said no as well. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, no. I, yeah. I don't want people all in. You know, my, in my, <laughs> don't, I don't want y'all in my space like that. You see enough. Yeah, get, same here. Get enough. Yeah. You know, but then you never know. Exactly. Like, so you never know. Like you know, you just might need a shit. <laughs> Don't have to need a check. You know, I got a mortgage or whatever. You know, something, you know. And things ain't popping quite the way you want to. Yeah. You know. (laughs) (laughs) Never say never. You know, that's Brandy job. Yeah, never say what you, you know, what you wouldn't do. Who are some of your, who are some of the people that you really like in the business? That you, that you kind of, maybe not even look up to, but just kind of admire their careers? Uh, singing, you mean, or just well, just do singing. Let's do singing and let's do acting. So singing, who do you who do you admire? That's... My favorite that I grew oh. up with yeah. is uh, Patti LaBelle, oh. uh, Whitney Houston. Oh, yeah. uh, back then it was uh, Patrice Rush. Oh, she was great. Yes. Uh huh. Um, Shaka Khan. I'm old school. You yeah, know, cool. yeah. yes. Okay, good. They were really singing like they were singing back then. <laughs> they ain't doing it. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They ain't getting it in like we, like they used to do back then. Well, a lot of them now they got money and little. And relaxed. that studio, put that little studio fix on them, make you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But when it comes to lie, we yeah. know if you can sing or not. That's like, here's what's funny. Okay, it's mm-hmm. funny you say that. Mm-hmm. So I went and saw Diana Ross a mm-hmm. while ago. And actually, she sang mm-hmm, her songs. Mm-hmm. Not like pieces of songs. Mm-hmm. She sang the whole song. Mm-hmm. And, and was, Diana Ross was another one. And she said, That's how I was just singing, remember? Yeah, yeah you were. You missing singing, you. Yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. Like, but she actually, I mean, I was, because I went to the Cher concert. I love Cher. Don't get me started. Mm-hmm. wrong. Mm-hmm. But she sang pieces of songs, the costume changes. Cher. Yeah. yeah. But where Diana did costume changes too, mm-hmm. but she sang her whole songs. Mm-hmm. And I was mm-hmm. like, and Homegirl, that's, you know. That's, again, that's that old school. Yes. Show business, entertainment. Yes. You know, we yes. know how to entertain. And you pull out, Barbara Streisand was another one. I saw her in concert. Mm-hmm. She still sings her songs. Mm-hmm. And I mean, some of the notes you can't, because you get older, sometimes your voice gets a little deeper. Of course, like it that. changed. But no, she still holds yeah, it. She's yeah. holding, she held a note there. And I was like, oh my God, she can still hold it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, but you know, like Patty on them, they're all you know, they're all I mean, Gladys Knight's another one. They're mm-hmm. all like they're all got yeah. other things going on, so mm-hmm. I don't know if they even you know want to yeah. sing that like that anymore. Right, they don't have to. <laughs> They don't have to sing like that no more. <laughs> Again, they've 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 paid they the, paid, paid their, their dues. They did pay them. Yeah. Those ladies did pay their yeah. dues. Um, so now with the actors, who are some of the actors do you like out there that you admire? Let's see, Angela Bassett. Mm. I got to meet her once. Did it was weird. She came up to me. She goes, "Do I know you?" I'm like, "Oh my god, no, I'm nobody." I'm, I, 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 I got all excited. I'm like, "It's just like you look familiar." But I'm like, I, 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 I'm so, "Hi, I'm James." Ooh. She was so nice, yeah. and, just, and those cheekbones were amazing. Mm-hmm. That. But she, yeah, she uh, and and. Um, uh, what's love got to do oh with Tina Turner? 
she played the it's so fool out of that. I almost said something myself. The <laughs> S out of it. The other S. <laughs> right. Um, it didn't even look she, like her. Right. But it didn't matter. Right. Did well, not matter. All the, oh, everything I was know. just on point. It was. I, yeah. totally, I totally agree with that. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Let's see who else I like. Um, let's see. I, again, I'm old school. I like comedy. I was uh, Florence Jefferson. Yeah. Marla uh, Gibbs. Marla Gibbs. Florence, but yeah. there's Florence and there's, there's Louis. So there was uh, Isabel Sanford, Marla Gibbs, who I met Marla Gibbs. Very okay. nice person. Yeah, yeah. Person. She's still out there kicking. Yeah. Is she? Yeah, I, I saw her recently at a at a home at a Home Depot. <laughs> so I was like, "Hey, girl!" I was like, "Hey!" She's like looking at some shelving or something. I was like, "Okay." But she's still. <laughs> I live in the I live in Inglewood. We live. She was still over there. I was like, "Okay, girl." She's still around. So yes. <laughs> you know so she shops at Home Depot. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> she's a, she's a normal person. She's a normal person. Have a normal. Life. Well, you know what? Her she I mean she really did influence a lot of South LA entertainment back in the eighties. Mm-hmm. which had Monica's Memory Lane, mm-hmm. and a lot of comedy people and mm-hmm. actors came up through her and that whole mm-hmm. her whole thing. She did a lot for black folks back then. You know what? And I love that um, where it wasn't that Diana Ross did Lady Sings the Blues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, she was uh, so amazing in that movie. Uh, she should have won the Oscar. Sorry. Um, right. What's her name? Right. right. <laughs> Liza Minnelli. Sorry. <laughs> You know, license. She's a, she's a legend too. But I was like, Diana. No, because the parts where she was on drugs, mm-hmm. you're like, Diana can act like that. Yeah, she she killed it. Com- completely. Yeah. She was a way yeah. better actress than some people out there who try to be actresses and right. singers. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna name any names of folks who just are okay on film right. and should stick to singing. Right. But uh, but no, she's mm-hmm. she's she was she was amazing in that. It's just like yeah, mm-hmm. I want to see you in a really dramatic role. Yeah, I do. Now I would love now to. that I now that I know you a little bit. I'm like I want to see mm-hmm. you really get soulful. I know I know you can do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh my God, That's, you'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know what? When we do uh, the different uh, shows, to me, my favorite part of. Um, those shows is when I can be very dramatic and yeah. I can bring, you know, the some real the wisdom tears. to a scene. Yeah. Tears, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You can, you yeah. can, do, you can, I you can do that. it. You are, yeah. I can, I can feel your soul actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I ask my guests two questions. I don't, I don't prep them. My, my fans, I do not prep them beforehand. Mm-hmm. I ask them these two questions, um, and they're the same two questions. Um, I believe in language, mm-hmm. and I can tell you do too. Mm-hmm. Words, language, all that stuff is very important, mm-hmm. and. What word do you think we should take out of our vocabulary in the English language? What should we not say anymore? Nigga. Okay, that's what, yeah. I agree with you on that one. Well, yeah, it's just not, you know. Not needed. But. but I, yeah, I know. Okay. I know. Okay. And they know. So, they, 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 hell, they, they know. Right. They, they, know, they know what we're saying right now. Right. You know. So, yeah. Yes, we should take it out, of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because then we won't be, you know, we won't be, uh, we, we won't be. You know, trying to punch nobody in the face. Yes. Yes. You know, <laughs> you say the wrong thing at the wrong time, yes. then yeah. it's on and pop. Yeah. You know is. what I mean? Yeah, Take I it out, then we won't have no more. Don't worry about problems. that at all. Yes, I don't. <laughs> okay. So you said two. <laughs> so the other one is, what works <laughs> is to, you know, I love that. I just love that answer. Mm-hmm. The next question is, what word do you think we should say more of in our vocabulary? That's always the harder one. No, love. Oh, uh, I like that. It's so underrated, actually, isn't it? The word love. It really is. I mean, it's like seriously. So I think people are like, oh, it's sappy. Like, no, it's a really mm-hmm. underrated word. And why why did you choose that? Why do you choose love? Because that's just like, you know, if someone uh, say, um, don't give me my flowers when I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Give me my flowers and show me um, how you feel now. Tell me you love me now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I'm just a, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I just love love yeah i love to love yeah you know it's nice yeah it does it feels good yeah like that my yeah. brother who passed away a month ago would have loved you my brother max oh i can tell i'm just like I'm, I'm thinking about him this whole this whole time like he would have loved you oh so max i know you're watching so hey max he would he would have loved you very much and i love you thank you That's i love man. you too i love your spirit i thank love you. fun i love to love yes yeah and I, I mean again i like good down home folk yes. you know Yes. I've done a lot of interviews where that was like, damn, I'm glad when this joint Oh, <laughs> Let me get the hell up out of her. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. I've done a lot. Wow. A lot of interviews, and I'll be like, when this going to be over? How, how long we got? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like it's, it's a job then yeah, for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it well, becomes a you've job. You've been great. You have to come back. Absolutely. You have to come back. Just to come and chill. Just hang out. Just yeah. hang out. We'll put some hammers on to the same time, but we'll hang out and talk. <laughs> 
<laughs> Works for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrice Lovely. Now, in that camera, tell people where they can find you on social media if they want to talk to you. On social media, I am Patrice Lovely on Facebook, Actress Patrice on uh, Instagram, and Actress Patrice on Twitter. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. She's in the new uh, Boo Mia's Halloween. Is, that's out. It's coming out or out? Coming it's out on the twenty first. Twenty first. I knew it was mm -hmm. coming out shortly. Mm -hmm. On twenty first, you make sure you'll see her in there. Yeah. She's in there and the Love Thy Neighbor, of course, on OWN. She's Hattie Mae, of course, in there. Yeah, we'll it come out. back on in January. In January, you guys. In January, mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching the show. Of course, you can follow us on the Breaking Into page on Facebook. My handle James Law Jr. And my one year anniversary show is coming up on November eighth. I have Shabadu Quinones, Christy Ferris, Jasmine Lewis. Uh, Joe Hernandez Kolsky and Joshua Silverstein coming out. We're gonna have a nice round table discussion about life and what's like just black. Yeah. Look it out. So thank you for watching me and I'll see you next time. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live. Scipio, Instagram me at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.